to a new video by Reviews on Anything. My name is Peter and today we're having a look at some Memo bottles. And if you follow this channel, you know that we've had a look at the plastic version of these particular bottles before. This is the stainless steel version, which is a different animal altogether. Now these bottles being stainless steel obviously means that they are heavier. You can see the weights uh, down on the box, or here on the front rather. Uh, and that is really the only major difference in terms of the bottle itself. They're heavier, they have the same capacity, uh, the same sizes as well available. You can see here with the plastic version from the previous video, they uh, fit pretty much in the same packaging. But the packaging is actually a bit different. Not really sure why they've done that. The plastic bottles had quite some nice presentation in the box. This is, you know, a different design, different philosophy. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, but it comes in this sort of slightly plasticky, uh, recyclable protection bag. And other than that, it is just loose in the box. So that is what it is. Uh, it's nice actually to see that the boxes are cardboard and that this plastic is recyclable. Obviously, the fewer bits of packaging we need to throw away in landfills, the better. Now, here you have uh, your first impression of the stainless bottle. I got the black one here in the A6 size and the white one in the A7 size. Uh, it's a bit hard to see on the white one, but it has the A7 thing stamped on it, just like the black one has. And again, here for comparison, you can see that they are fundamentally exactly the same bottle as the plastic ones. The shape is slightly different though, the edges are slightly more rounded, and I think with this satin finish, it is a very stylish uh, package altogether. Now to give you a few uh, details, it is premium food grade Theo 304 stainless steel, that's the body. Uh, the whole thing is uh, BPA and BPS free, the lid uh, most importantly there, uh, and the silicone seal is also food grade. So that is quite nice, uh, and they call this the fast flow design for easy filling and quick hydration with a diameter of 28 millimeter, which is one inch. Uh, that is the opening and the mouthpiece, uh, of course. You can see uh, here that I uh, easily put it in a jacket, both the small one and the big one easily fits in your chest pocket and you know, size wise, not much of an issue there. These are really meant uh, to be carried around either in a small bag or in a jacket pocket like this. And you can even fit them in your pants pockets, uh, but with the added weight, uh, I'm not sure if you wanna do that with these stainless steel ones. I think they are much more at place in a bag. Now again, putting these stainless steel ones side by side with the plastic ones, you can see that there's a few subtle design tweaks, which I'm sure has uh, all to do with the production process and the materials obviously bending in certain ways. Uh, the plastic ones in general have a bit of a sharper corner and a sharper edge than the stainless steel ones. They're a bit more rounded and a bit softer. But again, the capacity is the same. The drinking experience is the same. The lids openings and such are all the same. So, you know, you won't be. Now, besides that, there is not that much to tell here. There are water bottles, so you know what they do. There's no Wi-Fi, no speakers built in, no Bluetooth connection, and it doesn't monitor your heart rate or how many steps you've taken. This is a purely functional exercise in uh, carrying something to drink with you. And I think in a very sleek and stylish package in this form factor, and especially in this metal variety. So in the end, what do I make of the metal version of this Memo bottle? I quite like it. It is a very stylish package. It looks nice. It's very durable because it's metal. And I think if the weight is not an issue and the price difference is not an issue, then this is definitely the way to go. It's a nicer package overall because this is still very plasticky feeling. Um, cheaper, you know, yes, for sure. Serves the same function, same purpose, also for sure. Uh, but I think this is a nicer product if you disregard price and weight. So if the weight's not an issue, uh, this is definitely the way to go. Price-wise, I don't think you're getting much more value uh, in terms of the product. You know, if you're very much into style and you know, you're all into minimalism, black and white colors and everywhere, uh, sure, get this one. Uh, but I think the drinking experience and the carrying experience of the plastic one is pretty much 95% as good as this. Uh, and the weight, you know, for me, when you carry it around in a small, uh, sling, for example, the weight is certainly an issue. So I prefer the plastic one in that regard, uh, that you just have a lighter overall package with the same capacity. Um, for something that you keep in your car, for example, um, you know, this is, I think, the way to go. A few downsides to mention as well. Uh, obviously, you cannot see through this and you can with this one. So you can certainly see how much uh, fluid you have left in this. 
which is nice. Also, for example, when uh, traveling on an airplane, for example, this is still you know a see-through food container that might be relevant in that context. Um, also, they advertise that you can have hot and cold drinks in this. Theoretically, obviously, you can, even though neither of them is thermal insulated. Uh, but if you put tea in this, for example, you will burn yourself. This gets uh, crazy hot. This is like a radiator because it's only single layer. Uh, so forget putting anything hotter than lukewarm water in here because you will burn yourself and it will get very uncomfortable. Uh, so that is an absolute no-go with these metal ones. The plastic ones are the same, but they don't get uh, the same kind of hot because this is metal, metal hot and this is plastic hot. Uh, so I th I'd say that any warm drinks are out of the question with either one of these, but especially with the metal version. So bear that in mind. Other than that, um, you know, I like it. This, it's, a, it's a very cool form factor. It's the packable design. Uh, it's the size of the small one in particular. I got the other one here too. It's the size of the small one that is so nice for me because it fits in a small sling and a small pouch. Uh, could you make it even smaller by not having the stick outlet? Of course, uh, but I think this serves its purpose very well if you want to be compact in your carry. Uh, so that's very nice. Uh, and overall, I, I like these bottles. The quality is good. The design is nice, uh, and I think, especially with these metal ones, they look particularly cool. Uh, so, worth the price tag, it's always hard to say. I'd say it is. I mean, if you're in the market for something like this, and you want something you know, purely functional, go for the cheaper plastic one. If you want something a bit cooler, stylish, and probably more durable, definitely go for the metal one. That's all I got for you in this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. That always helps us out quite a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.